Hi, this is James with Mark 3 SMLE, and today we're going to be re-reviewing the Colt 18409 Pocket Revolver. This particular one is manufactured by Uberti, and it's imported and brought to us by Cimarron. Now this is a five-shot, single-action only revolver, cap and ball, and it loads via a loading lever. I'm going to show you that in a moment. Very nice and old-fashioned. This particular class of gun was very popular with civilians during the 19th century. In, in fact, it was Colt's most popular cap and ball revolver of that era. Uh, the 1849 Colt was Colt's first attempt at marketing a firearm to civilians. In fact, this is one of the very first repeating firearms marketed to civilians. Colt was then pursuing military contracts, but that didn't really work out. So for long-term peacetime stability, he needed something for civilians and a good repeating firearm was just what they needed at the time with westward expansion and never mind that the 31 fires the dinky little well 31 caliber round ball only 50 grains moving at around 700 feet per second not very powerful but it was a gun that could get the job done at the time now the 31 is an unlikely choice for police work but when police agencies in the United States decided to start arming their officers with standard issue weapons they chose the Colt 1849, and particularly the Baltimore Police Department started first, and they just worked their way uh, across the country. And of course, these are extremely popular. Over 300,000 of these were made, and a lot of them saw use during the American Civil War, even though the 31 and the 1849 Colt that used it was never a military issue. Just because these are very convenient pocket-sized handguns that could get the job done when you needed to, light, easy to forget, respectively speaking, with the larger revolvers available at the time. So anyway, we're going to load this guy up and take a few shots. The 1849 Colt usually loaded with paper cartridges at the time, but we're going to be using loose components today. Put the gun on half cock. That frees the cylinder. And you can get access to the front of the chambers. I left one empty for us for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and do that. 20 grains of black powder into our measure. Okay. Pour it in the front. Now this particular charge is just about max. This is about the hottest I've ever actually shot a 31. I usually load 15 grains, but I can get 20 in there and have just enough room for our ball, which we rotate under the loading arm, drop it, and we're seated. The next step is to put some fire on the back, otherwise we have a loaded gun but no way to fire it. We're taking percussion caps, these are number 10 caps, just pressing them onto each nipple, rotating, doing it all over again. Okay, now we're fully capped. All we have to do now is make the gun safe now that we're fully loaded. Now on the original guns, there were a series of safety pins between each chamber because you do not want to have the hammer resting on a live round because if the gun dropped or was hit really hard, it'd go off. But there is a safety pin. Just gonna find it. There we go. And that locks up the cylinder and you're safe to shoot. Now, bear in mind, this gun was meant for close range work. You have a rear sight which is dovetailed into the hammer and a very small fine bead front. But we're going to try. We have a target of seven yards. Let's go ahead and shoot it up. Taking down the 1849 Colt is a pretty easy proposition. The Colt has an open mechanism, so it actually does very well with black powder fouling. 
we're 50 shots into this and we're not going up no cap jams either anyway go ahead and tap this barrel wedge out I've already loosened it for the sake of time but I still need to drive it all the way out There we go. Barrel wedge out. Drop your rammer. Well, first, go ahead and put that gun on half cock. Drop your rammer. All comes off. Easy. 1849 Colt by Simron is extremely good. Compared to the previous version I received from Dixie Gunworks, this one has much slicker action and overall the point of aim of the sights is right on, at least more right on than what I was getting previously. This gun will shoot about 6 to 8 inches high, but most of them will do that. So the AT-409 Colt is a pretty interesting little handgun. It's an important piece of history and something that really got the concealed carry handgun market going. Today, the 31 seems to not have as much power as some would like, uh, especially for a fun gun. A 44 or 36 might be a little bit better. But overall, these are really neat little guns. There isn't much recoil to them, and it's a lot of fun, and it doesn't take up much lead and powder to shoot. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little video. This is Mark 3 SMLE, going out.